Hi there, it's time to look at one of the coolest racing hardtails in the world, which is Scott Scale, obviously. Uh, and this one just got better for 2017. So I'm gonna show you the differences between the 2017 and the previous one. Um, and also two of uh, its features, in my opinion, are just amazing. These are super smart and I'm gonna show you, we're gonna take a closer look at those. So what we can see on the um, Scott's website uh, is this nice looking frame and 849 grams uh, of lightweight and comfort and this is with hardware but don't uh, simply think that this is the 29er uh, you can just read here that it's for the scale RC 700 SL and 700 stands um, in Scott, uh, Scott's bikes range for 27.5 so this is the mid-size um, wheel uh, frames geometry that's the 849 gra nine, nine grams still it's light but remember this is not 29 this is 27.5 bike uh, so Nino Schroeder has been riding had been riding 27.5 because of the geometry and a um, big issue for him was the height of the uh, of his stem uh, and of course the weight distribution and the uh, Scott de development team was working hard on making the right geometry for him and actually when we look at the changes of the in terms of the geometry on Scott scale it's essentially the same as I was talking about the newest Merida um, uh, Big 9 and that means that we have longer wheelbase so the bike will be more stable than the previous one it's significant, uh, significantly longer we do have a shorter chain stays, so it will be also perhaps uh, more nimble, but also it's a it's bit for, for um, uh, weight savings and better stiffness here in the rear. Uh, then we have a lower bike, so uh, the, um, the stack of it will be um, lower than uh, on the previous one. And then reach is longer, so more centimeters here, longer uh, top tube on the newest um, scale. So all in all, the bike should be stable when jumping, when uh, just getting off uh, the drops, but still short chain stay will allow you to maneuver the, uh, through some, some single tracks, some switchbacks uh, on the races. Uh, and then also it is uh, lower so you will have more weight on the front wheel in the corners so that's the in terms of the geometry that's uh, geometry wise um, when we look at frame features let's just start with those coolest ones the first one is the brake mount I love it it's so smart because uh, Scott uh, engineers decided to put two very important things uh, on the through axle because you you have the through axle here anyway uh, and it's very stiff anyway and the frame uh, is reinforced around the through axle anyway so let's just see here one of the arms uh, of this uh, disc brake adapter is already anchored on the uh, through axle and when you look at this picture that's how the forces were operating on the previous scale and that's how, how it works on the uh, new one i really love it because this is smart it shapes wave uh, way, weight uh, as well but this is just smart we have less uh, materials less parts and it's and the through axle was already there so nothing new no new uh, parts added here and another one is also it's also around the through axle, that's the uh, rear mag uh, hanger here. This hanger is uh, once more put on to the uh, through axle and that means that um, once more, it's not the frame but the through axle that um, uh, that, 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 uh, that, 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 and that means that it's the uh, and that means that it's the um, uh, and that basically means that once more the through axle takes uh, the load of the rear derailleur operating operating uh, through the cassette and also if something happens uh, and you lose your rear derailleur it won't damage the frame so really really cool design I love it 
uh, it is awesome. Uh, now this frame will come uh, just as uh, with Merida Big 9 uh, with the uh, RC version, racing version, only for uh, one by drivetrain. Uh, it comes with very very nice, uh, nicely done uh, chain guide. That's the info on the draft, that's right. So all the uh, RC models of scale will not be uh, double chainsaw compatible, but those non-RC, uh, both for uh, 29er and 27.5 will be available. Of course, the Contessa, the women, uh, women's scale uh, RC will not be uh, double uh, chain compatible. Uh, it's also cool because one buy is, uh, you know, you, if you have uh, like one buy optimized uh, frame, it will be just better in those terms. Uh, but I do prefer to buy drivetrain, so I wouldn't go for RC. I, I couldn't go for RC. Um, Scott also claimed no loss of stiffness comparing to the previous scale. Uh, geometry, I told you, they say also 47% more comfortable. Well, you can see really that uh, this tube and this tube and those seat stays, uh, that's the uh, comfort zone and then the head tube, the down tube and the chain stays, that the stiffness uh, power tran transfer zone and also the handling zone. You can see that also here on this picture. So that's uh, where this frame has really been reinforced and that's where it's supposed to be uh, compliant. So that's different from, uh, differs from, for example, Merida Big 9, because uh, Big 9 also had comfortable chainstays, very, very slim chainstays uh, on Merida. Here at, at Scott, we can see this one is really a strong one. Um, and then there is one error on the website here because they show us the range of the models like basically we'll have Scott we have Scott scale RC Scott scale and then scale plus scale plus is the alloy uh, version with 27.5 plus uh, size for the tires so something like trail bike and then uh, scale RC will come with um, this top and HMX SL carbon fiber and also HMX uh, and then they say that scale comes with the same carbon fibers, which is wrong. Uh, scale comes with a HMF uh, carbon fiber. So HMF, that's the cheapest uh, version of uh, carbon frame. It's called scale, so it's not be called uh, RC. But then when you see scale RC, that means you have HMX, this medium um, level uh, carbon frame and if it say, says scale RC SL that means you've got this highest level of carbon fiber H HMX uh, SL. These are basically those infos I highly recommend that you download this PDF file which will give you lots of cool infos um, on, this, uh, on these bikes and also if you look at the carbon fiber here there is some compa comparison there these are models here uh, they will show you that uh, Scott has been using has been maybe focusing a lot on the strength of the frame not only the stiffness because strength and stiffness these are two different things and as you can see uh, on the on their frames they've been using this one YS60 super stiff uh, carbon fiber but mostly the super strong uh, MR70 and HRR40 which is really uh, nice and interesting here so go, go and check it out on the PDF uh, file but uh, all in all uh, better comfort longer wheelbase uh, shorter chain stays, lower um, position uh, on your bike, uh, more comfort and those two features like derailleur hanger on the through axle and also one of the arms uh, of your disc brakes will be uh, anchored on the through axle as well. Love it, uh, let me know guys what, what do you think about it. Subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna upload um, many infos and also testing of those bikes so I'm gonna go and test those um, in the racing track uh, and I'm gonna see you very very soon. Thanks for watching, bye bye.